Hi guys, it's your boy Mr. K back with another video and today we'll be reviewing the Garmin Forerunner 235. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to decide if you should even bother buying one in 2021. Please consider subscribing as it really helps with motivation but nevertheless let's move into the review. So starting off with the price of this device, you can generally buy this for about £190 but I've seen it second hand for about £150 so if you don't necessarily want to buy it fresh and want to save the world, save the environment, you can get it for a little cheaper as well. So the specs of this device, this device has GPS tracking enabled on the device so this means that you can track your jog or your cycle or your swim or whatever your, whatever activity you're doing you can track it and you can see see it on your device on your mobile device and see what path you took another spec about this device is the fact that it has an app for all mobile devices samsung apple hawaii and all the apps it has an app that's able to connect to it and then you can check all your stats your steps and everything like that all in the app so it's very easy to maneuver and everything like that another spec is the fact that it has up to 11 hours of battery life and that's very good for a digital watch usually they're much less than that so it's pretty good something that Garmin did very well the next spec is the fact that it has changeable straps you can buy other straps from um, from Amazon, eBay, Argos, whatever shop you can, you can buy straps. I would say that they're a little pricey for just a piece of piece of plastic or rubber, but it's still a strap. So if you don't like the colour that you put in, you can always change it. And then the final spec is the fact that it has a constant heart rate monitor, and this also includes the lung capacity as well. But yeah, I'll move into more detail about that further in my review. So pros. The first thing I actually like really enjoyed about this product is the fact that it tells you how fast your mile is and all and also it tells you how long you should take to recover. This means that after you've done a run, the app tells you how long you should wait. So let's say I've done a one mile run, it might it may tell me to wait six hours before my next run or two days before my next run. It just depends on how far you've run and how long you've done it for. The next positive something i really enjoy about this product is the fact that there's many different applications on this device so it's not specifically just for the running it also has cycling swimming and many other activities included in the device so for example with cycling it may tell you if you have the cycling mode and there's a another product you need to buy so it can track it but if you go on this um the app it can tell you your pedals per minute Another positive, something I just really like about this device is the fact that it saves data automatically so you don't need to go into something and press save like on the Fitbit charge free. If you want to see more about the charge free, you can go watch my other video a couple months ago. Um, furthermore, the next positive, something I really like about this product is the fact that it gives you a prediction of what time you may get in a race using the data that you already have. So if you want to train more and get a perfect time that you want to get, the app, the app will tell you if you can actually manage to get that. But nevertheless, let's move on to cons. Stuff I really don't like about the Garmin 4Man 235. First con about the Garmin is the fact that the heart rate sensor is not accurate at all and I believe that it's a complete waste of space. I know it's never going to be exact because it's an arm heart rate sensor but it should be somewhat accurate but it's really not and it's it's like they're putting random data in the device i've seen this on many amazon reviews and argos reviews as well it's just a waste of space and you should really not like trust the heart rate sensor it's incorrect completely and it just gives random numbers or that's what i feel like it gives the second negative about this device is the fact that when the screen when you're running in the night the screen's not bright enough and when you do press the button to lighten it up it's not long enough because you're already having that movement already so it's just not on for a long time so I, I usually like if I'm running at night I usually tend to fiddle with it and stuff like that while when I am meant to be jogging and not slowing down my time because the watch is just being inconvenient for me it's just kind of annoying 
on uh, Garmin's part. But the next negative is the fact that the Bluetooth is very slow and inconsistent and may take just a very long time to connect to your phone. It's just annoying because sometimes I'll be ready to jog and then I have to wait for the Garmin to connect to my iPhone. It's just, just makes things inconvenient for runners. Like it's just why Garmin, you need to fix up. The next negative is the fact that when charging, the connection would be quite loose it gives you an indication of when when you connect it obviously but when it randomly disconnects it's like there's no notification or, or nothing it just disconnects and falls out it's just it's just really annoying because sometimes i'll be for I'll be ready for a run and it's not charged because it fell out of its connector because it's so loose so i'd prefer to have a usb or something like that but it just has this little magnets that's not strong enough to hold it i really prefer the design of the fitbit with which it has the clip that actually clamps around it because i know it's not going to come off and if it comes off i'm going to clearly see it but yeah let's go to my conclusion now conclusion this device is good for more serious runners, serious casual runners. It's not great for professionals because they may need more data or more information, but serious casual runners, this should do the job. It gives you all your analytics that you may want to know, all the information. Some information may be inaccurate, like the heartbeat sensor, but really and truly, who uses a heartbeat sensor? So it's like, yeah, but this watch isn't only for running it has other apps as well but this is a mainly a runner's watch and i would recommend it if you're a serious runner but it's been your boy mr k thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe we're nearly at 80 subs now and i really appreciate when i see a new sub thank you and goodbye